Hey guys, Justin here from Search Shark. In this video, I'm going to show you how do we verify a Google local business when we don't have the login and we also never set up a listing in the first place. Sometimes Google goes to other websites like Yellow Pages, Can Pages, Industry Canada, which are huge databases of business information. It then aggregates this data and qualifies it. I guess so it would take all this information if it matched a certain way and it could be verified and there's a high trust level to this information meaning you know if we only found it on a couple websites then it's like okay I'm not really sure but if we look on hundred websites with the same information we have a high trust level with that location and that listing when Google picks up information like that it can sometimes create its own local listing here's an example of a listing that was created automatically from Google. The owner of Certes Direct Insurance Company did not submit this listing. How do we know? We see this button here that says own this business. When we see a button like that, that means there is no admin associated to this business, meaning someone uh, like myself could click own this business. I have to log in and I can then say I am authorized to manage this business and I can literally take this business. Um, it also if someone wanted to go and then in two weeks pick up the postcard and then verify it and then delete it like a competitor or something want to take a chance hey I want to authorize this send the mail they're, they're not they're not computer savvy enough I then go to their location um, and I can do what I want with their business listing so you don't want to leave it up to somebody else to take care of your Google local marketing okay so this doesn't show on all listings it only shows on listings where the data is aggregated and Google has verified there is an actual business so sometimes you can even uh, trick Google I could go ahead and <clears throat> probably put a lot of information online uh, that I'm a let's say a logistics company I'll blast it to a hundred directories and I'll say my address is 10 Bay Street I can say if I do that enough and I work at it I may get a automatic listing made by Google which is what this is Anyway, this one here, Mayflowers, another one says own this business. You can clearly see no one's uploaded photos. It's just the address it has been found and a phone number, and Google's automatically made a Google listing for this business, Mayflower Canada. I can click own this business, and the same thing can apply. So if you don't know the login, and um, you may be lucky, if you haven't submitted, and you're wondering, you know, how do I get control of this local that I, I've never owned, look for the own this business button. And of course, if you are a legitimate business, in two weeks at 7229 Pacific Circle, Mississauga, there should be a postcard where you then come, um, you know, I'm about to click on this business, and then it, you know, goes to your Gmail. So the Gmail you use, log on to that, and verify the listing, and then you can be the owner of this listing. This does not show on everyone. So if it has an admin, let's say I click here, the button has disappeared. Okay there's an admin to this so sometimes it's not there this one is own this business uh, this person no